For me, literacy research and activism are intertwined. The reason that I say this is that my reasons for going into research are very much about equity and creating change and calling it to attention to both positive and problematic practices. Working and building communities is a tricky process. And I say that it's tricky because I usually am in spaces in which uh, um, I work in communities that aren't ones in which I grew up in or people with whom I share an ethnic or linguistic or um, racial identity. So creating trust across a perceived and real differences is a, a unique, it's, it's a unique challenge, but it's a challenge that I enjoy because I show people that I'm genuine. And when people see that I'm genuine and that I'm here to understand and to learn together to create change for equity and to create change for all people, and that I believe that other people's equity is tied in with my own, so it's not that I'm seeking to save anybody else, but I believe that education and the broader world should be a space where people can coexist in love and in peace. And so through, through showing my genuine self, I think through my words and through my actions, I'm able to develop relationships with communities. And in that, my goals are very much motivated by the young people with whom I work rather than the fact that I have a particular research agenda and I bring it into a space to say, well, this is, these are my research goals and how do you all best fit into what I'm trying to achieve? And so research is just a way in which I develop community and work to create change. In order to cultivate and sustain relationships, it is fundamental that, that they're centered in both an ethos and praxis of love. Because relationships are complicated, life is complicated, and relationships that involve research are very tricky because they can turn into a situation in which a researcher who often has more power can end up using an individual or a community for a very self-serving purpose. So for me, in I think, in understanding who I wanna be as an academic, one of the things that I try to remember is, why did I get into this profession in the first place? And what's my purpose? And both of those things are centered in love. And so whenever I have these moments where I doubt the, the authenticity of my motivation or I need to, to check myself to make sure that I'm in research for the right reasons. I always return to what am I doing this for? Who am I doing this for? And what's the end goal? And an ethos and praxis of love is fundamental to cultivating and sustaining these types of relationships. The moments that I think of when I bridge literacy research and activism aren't documented in that sense. But it's speaking up in those moments where the fact that I have a PhD or the fact that I engage in language and literacy research means that I'm in a space where other people are not. It's not necessarily about things that could happen in pictures or anything that's ever published in a journal but it's knowing those small moments that I'm able to enact change by being present and not just being present as in a, a, a body just existing, but being present in mind, heart, and soul to advocate and to stand up for what's right in those moments when it's easy to be silent.